Trump's businessman is trying to help the environment by installing solar panels, but he says the city's policies and permit procedures are in the dark ages. CBS 11's Mary Ann Martinez is live in Dallas with the story. Chris, the owner of this business, wants to put solar panels on the front of it and also on the roof since there is so much sun exposure. You can see there's no shade around here, but he says the city of Dallas has given him the runaround. I really believe in, uh, in renewable energy and solar power. Lars Hundley is all about being green. We sell eco-friendly lawn and garden products all over the country. In his own warehouse, he uses LED lights, even an electric forklift. Sustainability is really important to us. But he says his latest efforts to be green has run into red tape. I'm completely blown away. Hundley wants to install solar panels on the roof of his warehouse similar to these. But he says when he approached the city of Dallas to get a permit, officials asked for architectural drawings and an engineer stamp, which costs an additional $1,500. I can't imagine that it takes an engineer to figure out that uh, 300 pounds worth of solar panels uh, are, are not going to really cave in the roof. So Hundley contacted his city council person who agrees the city should try to make it easier to install the panels. It sounds like the city is asking them to jump through a number of hoops to get this permit. Council member Angela Hunt has asked the city manager to look at changing the policies. Please be a little bit patient with the city as we try our very best to make sure that we create a policy that's very helpful to residents and not a hindrance. And Hunley hopes it will become easier for others to get the green light on projects like his. It makes no sense to me because, you know, Dallas talks about sustainability. Other cities in Texas and around the country simply require an electrical permit to install these panels. Dallas will study other cities' policies while crafting its own. Live tonight in Dallas, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News. Thank you, Mary.